everybody! Welcome to another edition of Toddster's Magical Mystery Review. I'm your host, Toddster, and today we're going to take a look at John Lennon's Rock and Roll. Yes, came out uh, February 21st, 1975 on Apple Records, and uh, yeah, this is uh, John's uh, last album that uh, he made before his uh, retirement uh, later in the year. And um, yeah, so how this... Um, how this album came about? Well, um, well, John had a bit of a lawsuit. Um, um, I'm pretty sure I, I explained it on the uh, Abbey Road back in the Abbey Road review, with uh, Come Together that um, you know, uh, John had a, uh, had a lawsuit with uh, Morris Levy uh, for you know copying, um, uh, uh, you can't catch me the uh, Chuck Berry number for uh, Come Together. And the agreement was to make uh, to have John make uh, at least uh, three covers from uh, Levy's uh, publishing uh, uh, company, and so uh, this is how uh, how this album came about. And yet it took it took a quite a year to to make uh, to make this album. First of all, he uh, you know he first um, he got back together with uh, Phil Spector to make uh, to make the album in L.A. And the sessions were pretty. Too loose, uh, if you if you know what I mean, you know, glug 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 glug. But uh, but then um, you know, shortly after, shortly after making um, uh, Walls and Bridges, uh, John's thought of uh, you know uh, carry on um, uh, completing the album, and and that's how he did. And um, yeah, it's um, it's a pretty good album. So let's uh, let's go to the song. So we start off with Be Popolula, Yes. This uh, the old uh, Gene Vincent tune, which uh, John said uh, he first played it uh, when he first uh, met Paul, and um, yeah, it's a lot of great, a lot of great justice uh, uh, compared to the original. And yet, you know, when I heard uh, when I first heard the original, I actually thought it was John's uh, uh, version. But um, yeah, um, then we go into the hit single. Stand by me, yeah, a great improvement from uh, from the Benny King uh, version. Uh, yeah, so much more emotion, you know, and uh, you know what a great performance it is. And um, and then we go into a little little Richard uh, medley, uh, rip it up and ready Teddy. And uh, you know, to think about. Uh, you know the little Richard uh, tunes is that uh, you know I don't think that um, it really suited uh, John's voice, and you know uh, uh, compared to Paul's, you know Paul, you know is very spot on doing the little Richard uh, tunes, but you know to John, you know a little bit too screamy, so uh, so to speak. But um, but still, you know it's a, it's a good number, good medley. Um, and then we're going to "You Can't Catch Me," uh, which I mentioned. You know the, um, yeah. This uh, this one came from the Spectre uh, sessions, and uh, yeah, it's an okay tune. A little bit draggy. Um, and then uh, we're going to "Ain't That a Shame." Yes, um, you know John said that you know the first song he ever he ever played on a guitar was uh, this uh, Fat Stomino tune. And yeah, I, I like this version, you know, very straightforward. And uh, yet, uh, Cheap Trunk, uh, the Cheap Trunk, <laughs> Cheap Trick um, used, this, used this version uh, when they played this song. So more like a cover of a cover of a Fat Domino tune. <laughs> and then we're going to Do You Wanna Dance? Yeah, this is sort of like a, a reggae flavor to the uh, Bobby Freeman song. Uh, yeah, okay. But uh, again, you know, so it drags a bit. But uh, and then we're going to uh, we end the first side with uh, "Sweet Little Sixteen. You know, everyone knows "Sweet Little Sixteen and um, another song from the Spectre sessions. And I'm just not a big fan of this version. You know, uh, you know, a little bit, it you know, a little bit draggy again. But uh, you know, wait till wait till we get to the uh, BBC recordings. And uh, then we uh, we flip the record, uh, slipping and sliding. Yeah, another uh, Little Richard tune. Um, yeah, it's another okay version, but yet uh, much better than the uh, than the uh, than the medley 
Uh, then we go into Peggy Sue. Yes, again, John does great justice to this uh, Buddy Holly track. Another great highlight. And, uh, and then we go into another medley. Bring it all home to me and send me some lovin'. Yeah, some uh, a bit of Sam Cooke and a bit of Little Richard. And uh, I, I do enjoy the uh, uh, Sam Cooke uh, uh, part, uh, which, uh, which uh, Klaus Vormann helps out on the vocal with John. And uh, yeah, and a Little Richard cover, not so much, but um, uh, going to Boney Maroney. Yes, another Spectre. Uh, track. Uh, well, actually, uh, 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 Larry Williams' uh, uh, number. Uh, yeah, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit loose, a bit too loose. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I think the Spectre, you know, as I said, the Spectre sessions were a bit too loose. Um, but um, then we go into Ya Ya. Yes, this is the more proper version uh, compared to the. Uh, uh, Walls and Bridges, uh, Walls and Bridges, uh, version. Um, yeah, it's another good cover. Uh, yeah, much, much more uplifting and, and more bouncy. And, uh, and then we finally end, this, end the album with, uh, Just Because. Yes, the old, uh, Lloyd Price original. Uh, yeah, it's, again, it's, it's alright, you know, compared to the, compared to the original. And yet, uh, I think, uh, John saw a, does a little bit of multitasking, you know, like, um, you know, I feel like he's sort of like a DJ when, you know, when the, when he recorded it, you know, a little bit of DJ and a little bit of singing, but, um, yeah, so that's the album, so, so what to say, well, as I said, you know, it's a pretty good album, you know, and, uh, and some of the covers here are, you know, they hold up uh, to the originals, and, uh, and some, you know, not so much, but, you know, still, it's, it's a fine album. So, I'm going to give this uh, three and a half uh, Johns out of five. Yes, three and a half Johns for John Lennon's rock and roll. Yeah. So, my name is Todster, and you just watched another Magical Mystery Review. And uh, we'll see you next time. Till then, toodaloo.